Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So let's check out that cave where the Dark Elf is. Oh, here it is. But there's nowhere to land with my airship. It's completely covered by forest and water. However, will we get there? Well, maybe someone at the town of Troia knows. So, let's take a look. Talk to some people. The city of water and forests. Okay, well, here's some equipment shops. Uh, if you don't have ruby rings, you can buy them at the armor shop there. I think you can. Uh, I'll check it out. But uh, you want to get a great bow for Cecil, because he's going to want to use that, along with the holy arrows that we have from earlier. Let's just double check that, just in case. Yeah, yeah, you can get ruby rings there. There's better uh, headgear and arm body armor that you can get than that, though, so I'm going to look at that later. Let's check out this place. The cafe. You can buy a pass for 10,000 gil. Pass for what? Sounds like a good deal to me. Let's take it. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there later. Let's talk to these people. If you know what I mean. Okay. Don't tell me this is like a brothel or something. A Final Fantasy game? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I'm 25. And I would imagine Cecil's younger than that. What's your pleasure? Okay. Get out of my way! <laughs> uh. It gets pretty expensive up here. Oh man, they got the VIP lounge and everything in this place. I have a pass. No chest hair, huh? <laughs> Little bastard, he's got my Jennifer. Old war stories. Yeah. Well, we can't talk to that lady up there, so... Too bad. I think this place is just for entertainment. There's nothing actually useful here. Or, uh, comic relief, I guess. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Well, I have a pass. Is that a membership card? Enjoy yourselves. Okay, great. How do we go wherever we're supposed to go? Ah, there we are. The King's Pub. I don't recall there being a king here, but... It'll be showtime shortly. Be generous with your tips. I don't think I want to know where he's going to put his tips. And it's glowing purple. How this area managed to make it in the English version, I do not know. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of uh, nine showgirls, I guess. Man, nothing like 16-bit adult entertainment. Oh, man. Well, Cecil does like the ladies. And they dance for me for about 30 seconds, and then they take off? What the hell? What kind of strip club is this? Oh, man. That sucked. And that's it. I paid 10,000 gil for that? Oh, my God. I wish I was as young as you. Yeah. Oh, hey, they left the door open. Let's check out the dressing room. Oh, there's only one here. Haha. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You only danced for like 30 seconds. Let's see, is there another? I thought there was another place. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I was wrong. Let's get out of here. Man, this place bites. Some strip club. Oh, 
Oh well. It's not like I needed the gold anyway. I got plenty of gold to get everything else that I want. Now, why would a place ruled, a kingdom ruled by women have a strip club? That's my question. Yeah, I know about the cave already. Uh, oh, she's sunbathing. Okay. Let's talk to this lady. Where her husband is. Probably at the strip club, I would imagine. Plenty of old guys there. The Black Chocobo Farm. Okay. Biology. You too can hatch chocobos. Oh god, this must have been where they got the idea to breed chocobos in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, that brings back some bad memories. The hell is he? Oh, black chocobos can fly. Hmm, interesting. Unlike regular chocobos. Oh, they can't fly. Oh, there's a chocobo village to the north. They can. Oh, but they can land in forests. Oh, interesting. So that's how I get to that uh, dark elf's cave. Always remember their home, and they will return there. But after all, they're all they're feral animals, so they run away after only one trip. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have Telecast Warp to get out of here, because I don't want to have to deal with that guy who keeps on getting in my way. Okay, Dijon. Sorry. There we go. Much better. Let's get out of here. Okay, well, there's just a little bit more of this place to explore. This one's got firm hand. Oh. I don't want to know what he's talking about there. Oh, yeah, she just says that. Welcome to Toria. Okay. Let's talk to this lady. Swimming in armor, it'll rust. Want to swim with me? No, I already talked to enough strippers for one day. But we do want to walk through here because there's some tr hidden treasure up ahead. Oh, and there's a naming way. I kind of like how they hide the naming ways like that. Let's get through here. The amazing echoer. It's a plant that can send your voice far away. Hmm. Okay, we get a thousand gill. A dry other. Another other. And a scape dial. What does that do? I don't even remember. Oh, it casts blink, which isn't very useful. So, okay, let's get out of here and let's get um, the equipment that we need for the dark elves. Okay. Now once you get all the equipment, I'd recommend uh, fighting the enemies around Taroya here. Uh, they're very good for experience. Uh, I'd gain a few levels. Uh, get Cecil up to level 24. Uh, it won't even take half an hour to get all that. I mean, it's very quick. So, let's go to Baron here. And while I'm doing this, I'll just talk about some of the enemies around Taroya. Um, let's see, Death Beauty and Wood Eyes are weak to fire. So, um, and, and there's Twin Snakes that are weak to ice and holy, so. And also, uh, there's another enemy, uh, Hell Needle. Um, like their cousins, they will counter-attack your physical attacks, so you gotta be careful with that. Let's see, we wanna get two bandanas and two Kempo robes, okay. And we also wanna get some holy arrows for Cecil, so I'm gonna take the, uh, the Devil Road to uh, Mesidia there. Oh, not down there. Yeah, oh yeah, there's one other enemy I forgot to warn you about. Uh, my brother wanted me to warn you about this. Uh, Kate Sitz. Uh, not to be confused with the character from Final Fantasy VII or uh, a Dark Lord of the Sith. No, just normal Kate Sitz. They're the Panthers from the English version that we got. You see, um, m my brother and I, uh, <laughs> before we knew how to hack save states, my brother wanted to win some cat claws from the Kate Sitz. They're the best claw for Yang. Uh, but they're a pretty rare draft, so I don't recommend it nowadays. Um, but anyway, what he did was he uh, killed off all the other enemies, and then he created a save state. So he would uh, leave the Kate Sith for last, and then just kill it, uh, see if he got the Cat Claw. If not, he'd reload the save state when, when he didn't. Um, but uh, <laughs> you see, well, the problem is... Um, I feel I was denied critical... Need to know information. Yeah. 
I, I forgot to tell him that uh, when they're alone, Kate says use their blaster attack, which will kill you instantly. So, um, yeah, so don't leave them alone or kill them quickly. And uh, don't let my brother's emotional sacrifice be in vain, please. <laughs> he suffered enough already. Okay, I want to get up to 50 holy arrows, so let's get uh, 37 of them. Okay, so that's all of uh, the equipment that I need, and uh, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Next time, I'll complete all the grinding that I need to do at Taroya, and um, get ready to go to the Dark Elf's Cave. So, this is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.